Alright, let's everybody just calm the fuck down. So this will be my last video about Pusey and what happened in episode 12. I think there's not much more to say. A lot of you speculate that there could be some way she could be alive, maybe related to dreams or flashbacks in episode 13. A lot of you think that the doctor in Litchfield is just crappy and may not have done his job well. All of that could be true, except for one thing, but we'll talk about that later. You see, Pusey died by something called compressive asphyxia. This occurs when the chest is crushed and pinned down by a large weight or force. The body is being pressed by a great amount of pressure. This occurs in car accidents. Soldiers are trained to use this as a force of takedown. It also can happen in fatal crowd disasters when a large number of people are pushing and pressing forcefully up against other people. Several people can be pressed to death when this happens. Now Bailey didn't have to be a big guy or a strong guy for this to happen. Him putting his full body weight and applying what I like to call unbalanced pressure on Pusey is what caused this to happen. And yes, we could sit here and talk about the crappy doctor and his half-assed job and everything. We could talk about all the people who pronounced dead at some point in real life, but really it wasn't by EMTs and doctors. And then, you know, getting to the hospital thought to be dead, taking all the way down to the morgue and then popping up or making it all the way to their own funeral and popping out of the casket. There are several examples of this in the real world. The fact that people's breathing can be so shallow and heartbeat can be so slow that it looks like they're dead, but in reality are much alive. Kind of like in the death of Superman, when he was thought to be dead, but his vital signs just dropped to such a low rate, but he was really alive and his body was healing. I mean, how cool would it be to see Pusey bust out of the ground in a black suit with a mullet? That would be awesome. But I am only a dreamer. So getting to my point, is Pusey dead? My answer is yes. I'm sorry, I know some of you were hoping that I would say no and I would have some way or hidden secret that she might be alive or maybe I might find something that everybody missed. But with everything that happened and the length of time her body was left there, no real medical team doing a true examination over her, I'm pretty sure she couldn't have lived through that. But like I said, and there are plenty of stories about people who have survived somehow, some way through worse life-threatening situations. But with what happened to Pusey, the only real way she would have had a chance at surviving if somebody would have performed CPR within minutes. And that's the part that truly bothers me. See, we're mad at Bailey for what he did, and it's understandable. And a lot of people have said it wasn't mostly his fault because he's untrained. He was scared. He didn't really know what to do. The fact is, these are all COs. Veteran soldiers. They're trained in CPR and how to respond to emergency situations. That's not just me talking. Those are facts. According to the National Commission on Correctional Health, correctional officers must be trained in health training and CPR to know warning signs of health issues and respond to emergency situations. This is a fact. In the slim chance that Pusey could have survived, one of them could have performed basic CPR, and there would have been a slight chance she could have been revived. But they didn't. They just watched her die. They didn't care. They knew they could have helped and they watched her die. Each and every one of those COs standing around is trained in basic CPR, or at least they're supposed to be. And if they're not, well, the MCC, Caputo, and Litchfield entirely is about to be in a shitload of trouble. Because if you want to see just a little bit of light in the situation, Pusey's father, I feel, has a very strong presence in the military and will seek out answers. Not only will each person who is involved, and I mean the CEOs, Caputo, the MCC, will be sued and possible charges could be brought up on each CEO. Each one of them could be thrown in jail for a very long time. See, I said in my season 4 prediction last year that Caputo would be fired. I still feel I'm right. The only thing I was wrong about was the time. You can be damn sure somebody's going to pay, and Pusey's dad will make damn sure of it himself. You see, guys, I really wish I could have made a video talking about all the ways Pusey could have survived. But in actuality, 
with nobody performing any sort of CPR or revival tactics whatsoever, her body being left there for almost two entire days, and I'm pretty sure that the EMTs, when they did get there, and then put her in the body bag. I mean, there are so many stories on the internet that I could have used to possibly prove that Puse could survive. I mean, you still could say it could be a possibility. Like I said, there are stories of people who dropped dead in the eyes of the EMTs, were taken all the way to the hospital, doctors examined them, then called the time of their death. They were put in a bag, covered with a sheet, sent down to the morgue, and still declared dead, sent off to the funeral home, put in a suit, put in a casket, got all the way to the funeral, and then popped up in that casket. Now, to be completely honest with you, I'm thinking that Pusey's death was used for a bigger agenda. You gotta think about it. These new guards were gonna get worse and worse with time. Caputo did not give a damn what was happening back at Litchfield. He wasn't listening to none of the prisoners. Healy is losing his damn mind. Prisoners were made to stand on tables. They were forced not to eat, not to drink, to go to the bathroom on themselves. I want y'all to really think about this. If this wouldn't have happened, I feel as though more prisoners would have been abused, raped possibly, beaten up, tortured. I mean, hell, we could have lost a lot more people than Pousse to the way that those guards are treating people. I really feel that the crazy one who made Maritza eat the little baby rat would have done a lot worse to other female prisoners. I feel like the writers of Orange and New Black needed a way to shift the direction of the show to make the horrible things that were happening be noticed. And well, sadly enough, this is what they feel like they had to do. True, they could have did it to other prisoners, but I feel like it was done to Pousse because of her dad's military presence. And if he loves his daughter, and if they still stay in communication, if he cares a lot, then he's gonna bring that presence down on the MCC, Richfield, Caputo, and OCOs. And maybe, just maybe, those COs will be thrown out, Caputo will be gone, and maybe Orange is New Black will go back to that more lighthearted, goofy, crazy things that happened because season four was not a light season at all it was serious with a serious tone i mean hell they got rid of chang for like the rest of the season chang is what makes most of the episodes funny to me but we'll talk about another episode thank you guys so very much for watching i appreciate it i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time